So something like that. And it's already sort of kind of looking a little bit more like flint. more flamish. It looks like we might need a few more particles. Yes, I was thinking the same thing. So if we come over to general... No, you weren't. You're just copying now. Yeah, very funny. So inside of here, look at that. Ooh. Maybe a little bit too many particles. Maybe dump some down to 50. Now that looks flamey. That does look flamey. Now if we come over to color, let's set the opacity a little bit lower. So maybe something like 0.8. Eh, maybe a little bit lower. Again, it's a tweaking thing. You don't need sure. exact values here. Another thing, fading. As you can see, we're kind of using pretty much the same ones in every single effect here. Right. So what we're trying to show you guys is that how to come in here, look at effect, and say, hmm, it needs this, this, or this. So we're showing you the entire process of our thinking. I gotcha. So if we come into fading, we want to turn fading in to odd or true. So it's a lot smoother entry. And exiting out, still snapping out. I don't like that at all. So we'll say fade out true. Fade out start time is going to be set to 1. So look at that. Now it's starting to fade out. Oh, very nice. So that's looking pretty cool. That rocks, man. Yeah, that rocks. That's Fire rules. <laughs> fire rocks. Now another thing. Why don't we go ahead and add a little bit of smoke on the top as well. Some black smoke. Absolutely. Come on, bring it on. So let's go into here. Come on, you should be done by now. I know. Hurry up. Come into emitters and say. Too slow. Oh, I'm trying. All right, I'm sorry. If you stop interrupting me, I may actually get it done. That's true. I guess I better be quiet then. Yeah, maybe. So if we come into emitters, let's add another emitter. Now it's going to be a sprite emitter as well, so we'll just press new. Now, mm, no, definitely not. So let's come into our texture browser here. That don't look like smoke. No kidding. If you come down to here, we have a smoke texture or smoke sprite. Now that is convenient. That is convenient. So if we come down to texture, we'll say use you. Texture subdivision. Use me? Use the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't help myself. Uh, I know. Use Zach. Attribute set to true. <laughs> yeah, that's just nasty. So we can say texture U subdivision set to 4 and texture V subdivision set to 4 as well. So now we have these... Well, massive smokes, no, definitely. No, that's not smoke. That's some kind of crazy ghost texture. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. So let's come over here to size, start size range, and set this down to something a little bit more manageable. Maybe something like 10 and 5. And of course, we can't see it any longer, can we? No, it disappears. It does disappear. So if we come into low, um, actually, first thing, velocity. So we'll come into velocity, come down to start velocity range, set Z. And we'll say this guy is supposed to be 50 and 40. So look at that. Okay, so we got the little tiny puffs of smoke, like yeah. we're sending smoke signals to each other. Exactly. Isn't that fancy? No. All right. So under um, location tab, start location shape, we'll set this to sphere, and we'll set this to around 15. Set what to around 15? Um, start location. Oh, I'm sorry. S um, sphere radius range. So it has a range. I'm sorry. I'm sitting a little back from the monitor. I can't ah. see it. And you know, later on when people get this on the video, they may not be able to read that. You know, they might not be watching you. They could be in Unreal Ed right now, just listening. Yeah. So if you actually say each attribute, they can follow along without actually having to see how bad your work looks. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Oh, did that come out? Uh, Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So under general, let's turn up the particles to say 50. So a lot more particles. Oh, wow, that's looking so not wonderful. Yeah, it's looking pretty awful, man. So let's turn the particles up some more to make it look worse. And maybe even more. Yeah, more of a bad thing usually tends to be worse, but very You know, well. you never know. So I'm thinking maybe a little bit bigger sprites as well. So maybe set this to 20 and 15. Okay and set the sphere radius. You'll see what I'm doing in about three seconds. Come down here and One. set this to 10. Now, if we come down to the very bottom here Two. to our texture and change this over to darken. Three. Look at that. Dark that's smoke. That's a lot of black smoke. Yes, that's it is. That's like we're burning a tire or something. Yeah, that's kind of bad. So a few things we're going to need to change. First off, if we come over to color, Remember, we have our opacity, so if we switch this to something like 0.2... Ooh, fancy. So look at that. Hey, you're impressed, aren't you? I'm starting to get there. Yeah, all right, so... <clears throat> you're still occluding a lot of my flame, man, and I need that fire. It makes me feel better. Yeah, actually, it would be more logical if this flame started a little bit higher. 
But if we move this emitter, the whole thing is going to move up. Exactly. So we don't want that. So how do we do this? Well, Probably, this is, I would say, adjust the fade in of the smoke. Well, we could do that, but we could also come down to, just to show another thing, under location tab, we have start location offset. Ooh, Ooh fancy. So we could come in here and say Z20, and look at that. It's starting out up here now. All right. And if we want to start a little bit higher. Oh, yeah, higher, baby. 60. No, 35. <coughs> No, do, do it 60. Okay. I commend you. See, there you go. Now we have smoke starting to actually be created near the top just, of our fire. How about just a little bit lower? All right, fine. All right. And, of course, he's going up way too high. As you can see, he's going through our roof. Yeah, that's like, that's, we're still, it's like we're burning a tire. We just got this massive, thick, black that's, smoke. It's bad. So let's come into fading, as Zach suggested a second ago. And turn on fade in, and we can set this to something small, just so there's a little bit of fade in, so it's not too abrupt. And we'll set the fade out to true as well. And let's say start out at 2. So start fading out at 2. But we're still living a little bit too long. We need life. We or need less life. of it. <laughs> or li yeah, exactly. So lifetime range, we can set this to maybe 2 and 1. So look at that. It's dying right there. Looking that's not cool. That's looking pretty good, but... Of course, we're going to need to come up here. I've been saying butt a lot. Hmm, that's scary. So, Zach bites his tongue. And that's a good thing. So, fade out start time is going to be up to there. And I'm liking that butt. We have way too many particles now because now the lifetime is shorter, so they're all clumped together. Yeah, absolutely. We kind of have, it looks like two specific areas. One sharp area for fire and another one for smoke. That's right. And we don't want that. So, let's turn this down a lot. Oh, very nice. Makes yeah. a lot more of a subtle effect. That's right. And maybe even come over to location, turn this down a little bit more. So something like that. That does look really cool because, I mean, if you've ever lit, like, oil on fire, you do get that sort of an effect where you get the, the black smoke at first, but it sort of diffuses very quickly so you don't see it going all the way to the ceiling. That's right. So you know what? I'm liking the way that's looking. Absolutely. That looks very, very nice. So I guess that's going to wrap up this wonderful lesson on, well, fire. creating a torch. Fire. Fire. Pyromaniacs. Exactly. Right. So thanks, everyone.